Jordan still back there? Matt, help me. I got this child. It's been arranged. I was here last week and signed all them papers. They told me you already signed the form. Thank you. Hi. I'm Mrs. Sinclair Winifred. Won't you come with me? It's this way. I'll get the door. Esther, Verla May, mm -hmm. Estelle, Antonia McGee. She's a new girl. She don't talk. I don't care if she don't talk. She's got to stand here like all the others. It's the rules. You never know. I'm not going nowhere. You retard. Oh, don't say that. So mean when you say that. Retard. Retard. Don't say that. Don't say it. Retard. 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 Be quiet there. Don't cry, no girl. Daddy either. He, he lived in a faraway place called Neverland. Neverland? Well, you can't keep her mouth shut. Shh. Shh. The thing about Peter Pan was he could fly. Like a bird? Yeah. yeah. He, he could fly. He'd just flap his arms and fly all over the place. Winnie, your sister. 
sister's here. Oh! Oh! Upside down or inside out. I just won't look at you. <laughs> oh, this is Clayton. He's your brother in law. We just moved back from California. You big guy. Hi, brother in law. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, oh, we, 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 we brought you some cookies and, and, um, and some, some books. Um, uh, uh, with pretty pictures in them, lots of pictures. Oh, I, I love cookies and books. <laughs> I'm gonna go out for a smoke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the influence of Hawaii are the tops of great mountains that rise up from the floor of the sea. I'm reading, huh? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Book, books talk to me. I can hear them. You, you got a pretty sister, Winifred. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for my mother. She's pretty, too. Sure she is. Those skies above Hawaii all filled with... Filled with brilliant. Brilliant rain, rainbows. And at night, the moon seemed to be hung there for a bro. Bro, romance, romance, romance. <laughs> I was so surprised she read me a book. How's she doing? She's doing fine. Her level of mental retardation has always been considered moderate. Really? She's capable of more than most patients, but... She still gets frustrated a lot at what she can't do. We've got some new programs. We're going to try her on some new, new things. She's doing all right. <laughs> Tell me again about Patsy's. <laughs> well, he got to be a real old dog. And one day he went out in the backyard and lay down under that tree. Remember where you used to swing? He just never woke up. He's in a happy hunting ground, huh? <laughs> That's right, Winnie. <laughs> what, what about the chickens? Daddy Crawley used to let me help him with the chickens. He, he said I was a big help. They don't have chickens anymore. They pass away? Sort of. Are we going to pass away? Someday. But not till you and me are little old ladies together and you're pushing me around in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> We stopped by yesterday and visited Mom and Papa Crawler on our way down here. They says to say hello to you. If they was my real mommy and daddy, they'd, they'd come and get me. They'd want me. They was real good to us, Winnie. Mama Crawler brought me to this place. They were having a hard time, Winnie. I mean, when they took us, we was just little kids, you, me, and Miriam. And our real mama and daddy just passed away. Happy hunting grounds crowded, huh? Better get going, it's a long drive. Take me with you. I wish I could, Winnie, but... You ready? Well, I, I, could, I could help out. I, I could clean up in the kitchen and, and clean the whole kitchen. Listen, now that me and Clayton have moved back here from California, we're going to come visit you regular, I promise. I, I've been waiting my whole life for you to come and get me. I don't want to get stuck in traffic. Okay, just go, go on to the car. I'll be right don't, there. Don't, don't leave here without me. Please, don't, don't leave here without me. Don't make me stay here. I'll be good. Please, I, I won't make noise. I won't bother. Just take me with you. Please take me with you. Winnie, I wish I could, but you see, Clayton and I have our own problems, and God, I was afraid this was going to happen. I just, it's been so long, I just wanted to see you again. Winnie, you need, you need, you need special attention, and, and, you know, your nerves and everything. I just... I can't. I, I, I just, I can't. You coming or what? 
I'll come visit you as often as I can. Okay? I love you. I do! Stop it, damn it! I, I said I was coming. What does it say? Dear Sister Gladys, please come. You said you would. Hurry. I can't wait much longer because I've been waiting forever already. Love him. Morning, morning. Hey, I don't get this. <laughs> Give me an extra pancake. Oh, wasn't that nice of them? They know you very well, Winnie. Hi, Billy Mae. Hi. What you reading? Oh, here. These books are just about every tiny child. Uh huh. By Pearl S. Buck. It's about her daughter. Here. Oh. Let me help you with that. I didn't know a tiny child could be in the book. Anybody can be in a book, Winnie. Come on, read it. Well, it's a pretty hard book. I tell you what, I'll help you with the words you don't know. Looks like visiting day. Look, my sister Gladys is coming. She promised. some cake? Oh, yeah. Here. Come on. Sit right down. It's all right. Come on. Oh, go ahead. It's all right. Yeah. Morning, Winnie. <gasps> this your little girl? Yes, this is Jean McKenna. She's going to be living in Forest Cottage. Hi, Jeannie. Her here. Don't you worry about anything. I 
don't want let nothing bad happen to Jeannie. Thank you. She can't help it. None of the low grades can. Then there's God to be made low grades. That's why I always be kind to them. Sometimes the family's ashamed when they have a retarded child. Sometimes the family just likes to forget the little kid. Her last buck didn't forget her child. She's a good mother like you are. I know that book. Uh, it helped me a lot. It helped me have more patience. How'd Perlis write this book anyway? Well, she had something that she wanted to tell, a story. Feelings that she wanted to share. So she wrote it all down, and when she was finished, the book was printed. Then we knew what she was thinking. That's right. Words have a lot of power. I have words and nothing happens. No one even answers my letters. <laughs> Gladys, she should be here already, looking for me. Winnie, your sister called and she can't come because she's sick. Come on now, visiting day is over. Well, what's the matter with her? What'd she say? It is nothing serious. Come on, it's time for dinner. Oh, oh. you and your book. You're like that kid up in the prairie building. He's always carrying around war and peace. He can't even put a sentence together, and he's carrying around war and peace. I'm not like that kid. I can read this oh, book. you pretend you carry it around. That's not true. I can read books. I can write books, too. Retarded people don't write books. That's what you think. Hi, Winnie. You're early. I think I won't write me a book. A what? A book. Poor last buck wrote a book about a little retarded child. If she can write a book, why can't I write a book about me? I'll show people I'm not so retarded. Well. I'm not sure you could do it. I could do it. Writing books is very hard work. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. But I dare you. Car. I, I'm, I'm new here. I come here from out of state. I'm a singer and a drummer and a DJ. DJ! DJ! This juggy. I'm a bunny. I'm writing a book. 
I'm a... I... I, uh, I, uh, um, I ate ham, ham for dinner. What did you have? Same as you. Well... Oh, I do. Oh, I like applesauce. What do you like? Food. Your ice cream is melting. I, I can't eat it because of these. Well, well, you go oh, take off your costume, man, and and then you can. Oh, but well, then I, I'll only have all my underwears. <laughs> 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 it's smooth, oh, oh, so mellow, so love. Ashford and Simpson, oh, reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> and make this. <laughs> may, I, but may I have this dance, please? I don't know how. I don't know how. You, or just follow, follow me. What's my ice cream, Booby Rose? is the bunny rabbit. Nice face. I do. I got a nice face. Will you? Will you be my girl? so long I didn't know how pretty it is outside. That's why people are prettier too. They don't look like institution people. I like riding in the big car. Makes me feel smart. Oh, oh, Miss McKenna. Oh, you can't walk nowhere 
without having a rug under your feet. You're a lucky girl, Jeannie. Yes, she is a lucky girl. I have a friend like Winnie, right? Yeah. Winnie, there's a present for you. It's right here on the coffee table. For me? Yes, dear. Oh. Come on. Sit down here. Oh, ribbon's so pretty. I won't tear the ribbon. Oh, you go on. Go ahead. Oh, oh, ribbon. <laughs> Is it a dress? Yes, it is. Is it a new dress? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Lakenna. Oh, I never had a new dress before. I never had such a new present. Can I put it on? Well, of course you can. You go right upstairs. Come on. Oh, I'm going to be pretty. I'm going to be pretty in my new dress. I thought I'd look normal. Penny? Well, my goodness. Well, that looks just lovely. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you? You have a great smile. Thomas Carr says when I smile, my whole face lights up. He said it. Well, it's true. Your face just shines. And blue. Oh, blue is your color. It is? Mm-hmm. Let me fix your hair. Come on, sit down. So, Winifred, you're back. Yeah, I know. I've got something of yours that's very interesting. It's my book. I found it under your bed. Well, give it to me. I don't like the lies that you're telling about me. There's no lies. Oh, give me. Oh, oh, give me my you, book. Oh, look, look at that. You tore it. Oh, boy. So you want to tear it, then? No. Writing's too messy. <sighs> Mrs. Spencer, come after me. She almost broke my arm once. I'll go get out of here. I got twelve dollars saved from walking in the workshop. I, I can get me a job. I can make a computer. Well, what about you, don't? No, don't you, don't you want to go to, to movies and, and shopping malls and bowling alleys and, and pajama parties? Don't, don't you want to go to the Olympics? I don't want to get in trouble. Won't get you, because they won't catch us. Can I buy you a sandwich? You want to hear me, you want to hear me play my drum sometime? Did anybody see you? I'll think so. Here they are. Nobody else is allowed to touch them. Just you. Go on. Go ahead. Just give them a little tap. I'll feel like it, Thomas. I, I keep thinking.
thinking about my book. Keep thinking about getting old here. Never getting out. Even passing away here. That's why we're going to live while we're alive. We, we could go see my sister Gladys. We, we could go out of state. That's where you say you always want to go. We could go one of those places I always read about in books. We could go to, go to France or, or, or Hawaii or, or Paris. We could go on an airplane. We, we, we could eat, eat dinner off one of them little trays. I, I could be a stewardess. It's a tail, people. And I'm on the bed. It's a TK. You made me cry. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. You keep on staying. We could go away tonight. But it's the last tour in the haystacks and two of my book. What are you going to do next? A classic. It's almost springtime. You won't be an institution in springtime. You will. You will. You will. No, here, I'm not supposed to play my... Wait, wait, I'm not supposed to play my drums late at night. We're not supposed to yell. We're not supposed to eat too much. We're not supposed to stay in bed too long. We're not supposed to sleep too much. We're not supposed to say what's true in books. We're not supposed to breathe. Thomas, we've got to run away tonight. Run? Winifred, I can't go anywhere without my drum. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Charge your cash. Oh, I thought she was going to give it to me. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid not. But it's on sale. $16.95. Oh, don't. Wait a minute. Don't worry. I'm going to buy it for you. It's a present. No. 
No, we ever bought me toast. I got it here. Let's see now. This is what that's what that's that's free. Um, and and that's that's one. Wait, wait. It's just it's a dollar and a and quarter and a and a a quarter and a a dime and a and a quarter. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here. There's four ones. Those are red. And there's a five and another five. Five. Give me these quarters here. You, 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 you take care of what's left, Winifred. Money just slips through my fingers. I got your present. What? I got your real nice present. Wow. This is. Oh, this is. This is. Oh, this is very nice. What is it? It's it, for swimming underwater. It, it, so you can see fish and what? stuff. Winifred, Winifred, I, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to swim. Wait, well, you, you can learn. You can learn when we get to Hawaii. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> Where are we going to sleep? I don't know. Don't want to freeze up. No. We could. We could. We could. We could sleep in in that car. Thomas, that's good thinking. It's such a good idea. Well. Well. No. It looks so comfortable. Sleep in this car. <gasps> That's okay. You sleep in the front seat, I'll sleep in the back. Try and use your coat like a blanket. I'm still, I'm still freezing. I put my coat up and, and, and then my feet are cold. And I put my my coat over my feet and, and then my, my, my top is cold. Don't forget about the cold. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello? Hello. Is this Mrs. Crower? Oh, yes, it is. Mrs. Crawler, this is... This is Thomas Carr. I, I would, I would, I would, I would like to ask permission to marry your daughter. Well, which one? I have three. Oh, I would, I would, um, I would, I would like, I would like to marry your daughter, Winifred. That's who I would like to marry. Thomas. I'm filled up. I'm, f I'm filled up with the beauty of the world. What are you doing in my car? Nothing! Go away! Really? What? He, go away! Hey, get out of there! Come on, get the hell out of there! He's Don't have to! Damn. We better get out of here before he comes back. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Falling. Well, I think we're safe. Now, my stomach's growling to beat the band. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Where's all our money? It's... it's in your pocket. No, I only got a quarter. Where's the rest of it? Well, I don't... Maybe we spent it? No, we was robbed. No! There's the policeman! Help! Help! No! We was robbed! Thomas, no! No, we was, no, 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 we're gonna get caught! We was robbed! 
Somebody, somebody, hey, somebody. hey, are you the couple that was sleeping in the car? Yeah. Pretty boy, is up here on the ball. Pretty boy, is up here. He takes right down your pressure. It's your turn, Tommy. What are you gonna? Uh, 40, 40. No, no, you've already balls done 40. They sure are having fun down there. Oops. Almost time for Easter dinner. I passed the kitchen. Oh, it smells so good. Ham, apple pie, bread and soup for you. We can't have any holidays in time out. Mrs. Spencer. Can I please have a paper and pencil? So you can write more lies. No, so I can write about when I was little and, and, and Patches got excited at an Easter egg hunt and, and, and Gladys put pink and yellow ribbons in my hair. Oh, well, that sounds just lovely, Winifred. But I'm not going to bring you anything until you learn your lesson, until you accept the fact of what you are and where you are. I couldn't dress myself. I didn't even know how to tie my shoelaces even. I couldn't do my alphabet or remember my numbers. I couldn't even hold a pencil right. Other kids called me Winnie the Ninny, and I had to bop them sometimes. Hey, you secret genie. This book's going to get me out of here. It's going to go make, make people understand. Itty bitty spider, we've got the world is far. She looks all right to me. No, she don't. Her eyes look funny. She don't kick. She don't laugh. Well, oh, she does feel kind of warm. I'd better take her inside. Here. Okay, can I come too? I, to I told her mommy I'd look after her. No, Winifred, you go back to your building. No, now, don't make such a racket. There are children that are still asleep. Come let me in. I won't see... Jeannie is over in the hospital. She has pneumonia. Oh. Oh. You can't go in the hospital. You're not allowed. Winifred. It's time to go. I'm thinking maybe Jeannie's going to die. They won't let me in to see him. They got... They got good medicine at the hospital. Yeah. And doctors. She don't know anyone there. She's probably looking for me and, and scared. Yeah. I gotta go see her. I, I promised the mom I'd take care of her, and I, I gotta live up to my promise. The only people that were out in the hospital were sick or, or, or hurt, like, like when I got polio. 
I don't want to get polio. Only people that are out is, is sick or hurt. x-rays you broke it i broke my foot no 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 just your toe but but still i gotta have a cast to cast and be in the hospital huh no you won't need a cast you don't need to stay in the hospital just don't walk around on it too much but i, I gotta be in the hospital with jeannie i, I mean I, I gotta get in i mean i went through all this trouble Promise Dr. Jensen you'd only stay a second. Yeah, no. Jeannie? Itty bitty spider with the water spout. Down came the rain and wiped the spider out. Come on, Jean, you gonna get better. <laughs> Summer's coming. Batter up! Give me a hit. Batter up, what? Oh, my God! 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 Oh, I can touch it. I'm with Susan Thomas. I, I don't even know Kimmy's Get a job in a beauty father. So Miriam came and, and drove me over from Davenport. Uh, are you still sick? No, no, I'm all better. You look still sick. She just lost a little weight, is all. Mrs. McKenna, it's real nice for Winnie. She can spend the weekend with you. 
Oh, you should see their house. It's like in the magazine. One day, Gladys, you're, you're going to have a big house like that, and you're going to want me to come and help you. <laughs> Maybe, Winnie. Maybe someday. Yeah, not like you promised. Jeannie, these are my sisters. I got two. I'm one lucky girl. <laughs> I go on married to the wedding day. We're gonna have some dessert. How does that sound? Yeah. Uh, could I talk to you first? Yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Let's Come on. A little walk. Come on, honey. Bye. <laughs> You gotta stop saying this stuff to Gladys about the way she looks, you understand? She don't look so good. I know. Winnie? Mm -hmm. She's very sick. No, she isn't. She's serious. No, she said she feel fine. I heard her. It's because she doesn't know yet. Winnie, you know what cancer is? It's not good. She thinks it's just stomach problems, but she don't know the truth yet. She gonna die? When's she gonna die? I don't know. You all right? Are you okay? Listen to me now. Now, Winnie, Winnie, pay attention. We gotta pretend that everything's fine. We can't let her know yet, okay? Okay. Where, where's Gladys? Oh, she, she went to lie down in the car for a while. She was tired. Man, she said she's got cancer, she's gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, Winnie, Winnie. She doesn't know what I can tell her. Honey, honey, I know, I know. I'm not glad she won any money. Good to see you, Gladys. I I was wrong before. You, you're looking pretty. I am. Yeah. You're you're beautiful and healthy too. Healthy too. You look real good. It's okay, Winnie. I know there's something wrong with me. Nothing wrong with you. Oh, Winnie. You are very special. I am. You always have been ever since you was a little girl. I know. Because I used to tend to you. I used to dress you and feed you. T tell me about the wagon. <laughs> I used to pull you around in a little red wagon. And you'd sit up so proud. And off we'd go to the grocery store. How I was a good little girl, huh? You were very good. You still are. I gotta go. I wish I was a normal kid, Gladys. Oh, if anything happens to me, Miriam will look after you. I'm going to make her promise. Nothing's going to happen to you! Well... I love you so much. I love you!
I'll leave you two alone. Yeah. Miriam? Well, what, what the heck are you doing here? Gladys died, Winnie. What? She died two weeks ago. No, she sent me a postcard. She says she's feeling better. She says she's putting meat on the bones. But it was better this way, Winnie. She was in a lot of pain. She can't be dead. You, you take it back. You take back what you said. I can't do anything about it, Winnie. I can't bring her back. She was... She was real peaceful. But she looked just like herself. We give her a real nice funeral. Funeral? Well, you had the funeral ready? Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me? Why well, couldn't I go to the funeral? Well, we, we was afraid to, to take you to the funeral. We knew how upset she was going to be. We thought she was going to do something crazy. You should have took me! You should have took me! All right, Winnie. Sit down. No! You should have took me! Stop it, Winnie! I wasn't going to jump in the grave! Oh, no! special no more. Well, sure you are. You're special to me and to Thomas Carr and to little Jean. Oh, I am? Yeah, you are. I mean, you've, you've got lots of friends here. I do? Oh, you do. Now you have to take the medicine the doctor left you and you have to eat and you have to take care of yourself because you want to get better, don't you? Yeah. Now, I don't want to have no breakdown. No, of course not. And uh, you have your book, 38 pages. You have a lot to say. Would you mind if I showed it to one of the doctors? Heck no, I don't mind. But I don't feel like trying no more since Gladys. Even food don't taste so good. Gladys said we could grow old together. She said I could push around in a wheeling chair. Listen, Winnie, listen to me. I don't think people we love just die and leave us nothing. I, I think Gladys is a part of you right now. I really believe that.
Okay, now, today, class, we're going to learn how to order a real meal in a real restaurant so that you can uh, do it on the outside. Ruby Rose, come on. Bring the menus over. Great. Now, um, what do you say? Here's your menu. So order your food. I just ate. Oh, Thomas, we're just pretending. We're just trying to learn how to conduct ourselves in a restaurant so that we can do it on the outside. But I'm not hungry. Uh, Winnie. Winnie, do you think you could help Thomas? Would you come up and take a look at this menu? Now, uh, what would you order? I'm not very hungry either. Are you sure? I know you liked mashed potatoes. Well, maybe some mashed potatoes. Good. Now, now, look at the menu. See what you like. Come on. You can read that. What else? Oh, French fries. I love French fries. Mm -hmm. Roast chicken. <laughs> Cream peas and carrots. Meatloaf. <laughs> bread, I love bread. Good. Chocolate pie. Ice cream. Rice pudding. You like rice pudding? Oh, I love, I love rice pudding. Rice pudding. Uh, no, no. Oh, Winnie, you're like Winnie. No, no, I have something to tell you. Mm -hmm. We're going to have you do some tests. You're going to have me do some tests? Yeah. Everyone is so impressed with your progress in your book. We're going to have you work with a doctor. Is that okay? Oh, it's, it's okay with me, but it's okay with you. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Well, See you later. You did. I did. Yeah. Doctors and the administrators and social worker. I, I, I think we found you a place to live. It, it's a kind of a nursing home. Huh? You're going to leave the institution. You're going to live on the outside. Never. Is this April Fool? No. Miss Drake, you're not joking on me, are you? No, I'm not joking. Winnie, listen to me. You're going to be free. You mean free? Yeah. You, you mean li living on the outside free?
want you to go. Don't you be so sad, Ruby Rose. One of these days, you'll be on the outside. And I'll be outside waiting for you. If you see my mother, you tell her that I'm here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell her you're here. this comb for being a bunny. You can have it, Ruby Rose. <laughs> Goodbye, Jeannie. I made this for your mama so she know where to find me. Bye. Oh, In thanks, Bella May. Would you do that? Oh, Ruby Rose. Thanks. Thank you. Winnie, Winnie. You have everything you need? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. I'll wait for you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Since my baby left me, I, I found a new place to dwell down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. I was the one was was on the flip side. All right, T. Thomas. Oh well, Winnie, I didn't tell you. Uh, I don't read so good. All right, with little words. Oh, boy. Are you, are you, are you, are you still, are you still my girl? Of course. Pink bedspread. Got my old windows. An apple tree right right outside my window, apple trees. Thomas, I got my old apple trees. At least Thomas could hear me. I've got to go. I'm going to leave you here with Mrs. Tubber, and I'll be back in a week to see you. Oh, I'm going to be busy. T tell, tell Thomas I miss him already. All right. T tell Thomas all about my room. Okay. Okay. Best bed ever slept in. You want to go? You're a winner, Fred. Hi. Yeah, no. I'm Brady. This is where we get our food. Do we get seconds? We can get thirds. I, I, I got one thing in each drawer. My my spare underwear in my deodorant. In manicure set that Gladys gave me. Nice. Uh, my sweater, my skirt. In the dress for Miss McKenna. Yes. All right. And my toaster. It goes on top. We got one downstairs. Do we shower now or I don't care when you take a shower. Well, when's roll call? What's roll call? We don't do no roll call. No showers? No roll call? Wow. <laughs> It's my boyfriend, Thomas. He's got, he's got good personality, and, and, he, and he's smart too. It's, uh, he, he knows all about songs and, and, and what to say on the radio. Thomas. Thomas. I should do like freedom. Get to go any place you want. What if we miss the bus? I should love the world. I want to see it. New York and the 
Statues of Liberties. I want to see everything. Um, you got money for the bus? Yeah, I someday I'll get me a real job and I'll have money for going places. Hawaii is beautiful. You can put flowers in behind ears and any coconuts to do them little dances and those little skirts, you know? I never been there. so many books in the whole world. <laughs> books smell the best of anything in the world. Besides spaghetti. Oh, books all over the place. Could I help you find something? This is the children's section. I don't mind. Shh. Have to keep our voices low. We do? In the library. Okay, okay. Oh, look, Cinderella. My favorite book. It's a little gingerbread boy. Oh, what's this? <sighs> look at the little girl with the funny shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you read three books and you bring them back, and then you read three books till you read all the books in the library. My teacher learned me that. I'm gonna go and wait for the bus. Okay. You have a library card? No! That's all right. I'll give you one today, and then you can bring it in each time you come. All I need is your name and address. You mean I'll get my view of your library card? Oh, sure. Uh, I'm 
I'm just going to the Tubbers. It's just down the road here, big greenhouse. Tubbers, oh yeah. You live there? No, I'm not, I'm just visiting. Got my library card. You can read, huh? Yeah, I do. I read all the books that I read hard ones too. Married or anything like that? No. <laughs> I'm a boyfriend. Are you gonna marry him? I don't know. I never liked housework. <laughs> well, he better grab you up. You're a real nice girl. Are you? You sure this is the way the tub is? Yeah. It's the uh, scenic route. Tell me what you do with your boyfriend. We just, we just talk. You ever kiss you? <laughs> no. No? You sure? <laughs> you ever do that? How do these things work? I bet you let your boyfriend do that. I bet you let him touch you. No, Thomas, don't do that. I gotta go home. I can't be late for dinner. Oh, come on, come on. No. I won't hurt you. Yeah, we'll just tuna casserole. I can't be late for tuna casserole. Come on! No. Oh, no. Break. No. Outside world isn't always so great. People can be real mean. They look at you funny. They won't give you a job. Sometimes I feel like bopping them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know. My dog. Get out of here. I, I didn't get mean... out and don't come back. I was gonna bring you back. Stay at the tubbers where you belong.
laughing because I read the funny book. <laughs> you read this book? <laughs> <laughs> we left it, that's so funny. <laughs> shut up, you kid, shut up! <laughs> What's the matter? What's going on here? Got a right to laugh at a person! I'm nothing to laugh at! <laughs> I'm a human being, I've got feelings! Of course you do. Now wait a minute. Winifred? I don't feel so good. My nerves is bad. Why don't you tell me one of your jokes? Tell me the joke about little Buster. It always makes you feel good. I don't even like old jokes no more. This is a very hard time for you, Winnie. Being on the outside is a very big adjustment. I love being free on the outside. All the streets and eating in restaurants and sitting on the bus. I love the world. There's some of the people in it that troubles me. I've been thinking maybe, maybe I'm homesick. You homesick for Middleton? I miss my old bed. I got check on Jeannie. I, I, I got responsibilities. I miss Thomas, Mrs. Drake. I miss him real bad. Winnie, would you like to go back and see your friends and see how you feel? I don't know. Where's a good place for me in this world? I wish you was my real mother, Mrs. Drake. I wish it. I'll give all the money in the world for mother's love. <laughs> published well publishing books is not always so easy but I certainly hope so oh. well then, then it'd be in the library and people check it out on a little white card and, and read it till it was overdue <laughs> <laughs> then then everyone know I was smart of things you know something up there instead of nothing right and people would understand about me and be kind huh mm. Maybe next year I'll go back and try freedom again. Are we almost there? You just asked me that question. Winnie! Oh, look at him, oh. Winnie! Oh. 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 Brother May, you got on my old dress! Oh, Winnie, you're home! Oh, Winnie, you're looking so good. How come you came back? Oh, I, I missed everybody. I, I want to finish writing my book. <laughs> me and you get married. Oh, Winnie! Come home. I didn't know this. Oh, I missed you, Winnie. How you doing, Antonia? Hi. Kitty, got your tongue no more. Hey. <laughs> Winnie, I gotta ask you something. Did you see my mother on the outside? I gotta tell you something, Ruby Rose. I don't know what your mother looks like. Well, then maybe you saw her. <laughs> That's right, maybe.
never did. <laughs> I told you you would come back. I knew you wasn't going to make it in the outside world. Well, what makes you think I couldn't make it? Maybe I wanted to come back. Oh, well, you're out there. You think it's all going to be peaches and beans, but it isn't. <laughs> peaches and beans. A lot of peculiar people out there. Food's not so great either. DJ, DJ here. This is, this is KTRL in Wichita, Kansas. I, I gotta. I, I gotta be a radio. I save up all my money. Do you still, still, still like me, Winnie? Look at Thomas. He's crying. He's not crying because he's sad. He's crying because he's happy to see me. Oh, this girl. <laughs> what is man crazy? No, I'm not. I just like Tommy. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna stay for good now, Winnie? I don't know, but I'm, I'm here now. Ring ring. Hello. Hello. Is this Mrs. Crawler? Yes, it is. Mrs. Crawler. This, this is Thomas Carr. I I would I would like to ask permission to marry your daughter. Which daughter? I happen to have three. I would... I would like to marry your daughter, Winifred. I'm gonna try freedom again. You gotta keep trying. But right now, I'm gonna finish my book so people will read it. I know that. Just because a person's different don't mean they're not a human being. Yeah. Next, it's about coming together for Thanksgiving and wishing you hadn't. Kira Sedgwick stars in What's Cooking.